Uh, I'm here at the Dubai Film Festival with a film called The Square. Um, it's actually our first release in the Middle East, um, our first showing. So it's an exciting time for us. We were hoping to release it in Egypt um, at a festival, but we've had some issues with uh, censorship there. So we're working on, we're working with the censorship. Hopefully, we'll be able to do a wider release in Egypt in January of next year. This is where it's premiering, so it's very exciting to be here. I was last here with uh, my film called Control Room, which was here in 2004. So it's very exciting to be back here. I love the Dubai Film Festival. I love the people that run it. It's really, a, it's, it's great to be back. I'm Egyptian, uh, and the entire team that made the film is Egyptian. So we were all in the square as protesters first. I grew up about 10 minutes away from Tahrir. Um, and so, and I had made a film in 2007 about some of the protest movements. Um, so when the sort of rumblings were beginning about the, you know, that people were going to go down on the 25th of January, I wanted to be there with my camera and be in the middle of it. Um, what's incredible about this film is that there was no pre-production. The entire crew met in the square. So we were all sleeping next to each other in tents. We met our, all of the cast of characters that we followed in the square, um, really in the first 18 days before Mubarak stepped down. And what this film is about is it's really about um, what it means to change your country, what it means to put everything you have on the line in order to fight for something that you believe in. And ultimately, how, does, how, how do you start to hold government accountable? How do, you, how do you start to hold leadership accountable? So it follows this group of activists who are from all different backgrounds, um, you know, all different classes, religious backgrounds, um, as they go through the last three years. And basically they go through bringing Mubarak down, uh, fighting against the military, fighting against the Brotherhood. And the last, uh, the last scene we filmed was actually in July of this year. Um, so it, it goes right up to uh, quite recently, actually. I think the most challenging part of this film, which is a challenge with every film, is figuring out when to end. Because in a film like this, this is about an ongoing revolution that is still continuing. Um, and so, and you know, you know, the easy thing is figuring out that you should be filming when there's a big battle or when there's an election. But when things are very quiet in the square and it feels like, you know, the characters have lost all hope, you're wondering, what am I filming? What should I be filming right now? But actually, those are the most important times because to film because nobody sees the Martin Luther King or the Gandhi when they have lost all hope and nobody's supporting them. And it's a very lonely process being you know, at the forefront of activism. Um, but the most important time is when that Gandhi or Martin Luther King or Nelson Mandela decides, I've I've lost everybody, I've lost all my support, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep fighting. So I think the most difficult time was trying to figure out where to end it. Um, the first time we ended the film was when Morsi was elected. And so it was basically about the bringing down of a president to, to the election of a new president. But as we were on the way to Sundance with our film, all of our characters were back in the streets again because they were basically saying, we're not going to allow somebody to use the tools of democracy to create another dictatorship, which is what they felt Morsi was doing. Um, and so we were back filming again and continuing over this last year. And we finally ended um, you know, for the Toronto Film Festival September of this year because we felt like our characters had gone through a full cycle, which is basically to hold every leadership accountable that came into power. The Dubai International Film Festival is a festival that I've come to for the last almost 10 years. Um, it's an incredible festival that gives a platform for films in the Arab world. As you can see, there are journalists here that are covering the films. There's an excited, intelligent audience that's watching the films. So it's a fantastic place to launch your film. And so that's why we're absolutely thrilled to be here.